about 80% humidity. So a day or two before they hatch, they'll start to sweat. So they'll push out that excess moisture. And that clues us into that we're about to have some eggs hatch here at the zoo. But when they first come out, they have this little white mark that helps to cut the shell. And they'll kind of poke and let the fluid come out for that first you know, day or so. They'll kind of just poke their head out and wait and kind of keep absorbing <laughs> their yolk inside. And then the second day is when they get the strength to, to finish pushing all the way out. And after a few days, once they've absorbed that yolk sac, we'll move them down into our larger rearing containers downstairs. So we want to make sure that we have a whole dry kind of land area and mimic as much as we can what they might experience in the wild. So we want to have, you know, plants and shelter that they can hide under, obviously a water component as well. Lots of rocks like you'd find along a riverbed. Hello babies. <laughs>